time for the semifinals, and it's the Battle of the Brothers. The rematch of WCG 2019, Infi in the, on the left-hand side, with a new haircut, TH on the right-hand side. It's an orc mirror. Or did they fuck up the graphics? Amazonia first. Infi had a pretty big smile on his face. But... Are these graphics for real? Are these graphics actually for real? We will see it in a second as we load into map number one. It's the Iceman versus the three eggs in an orc mirror. Infi has redefined orc mirror this year. And now, well, TH in one of the G uh in in one of the WGL finals, he played Orc against Romantic and he crushed him. Like no chance. We don't really know how good his Orc mirror is though. TH's Orc versus Human was great. Maybe he was spanking on that? I don't know. TH in the red, Infi in the blue. Amazonia number one, two rogue warriors. Maybe they don't want to give away the tactics and timings for WGL. Shadowhunter first for Infi. He has his very own meta in Orc Mirror. Tier three is a key to this. And TH, was it a blade? Oh, Sock, please disable this shit. I'm restreaming the Korean um, because it's a better connection. So, yeah. Could be a Farseer, could be a Shadow Hunter. A Shadow Hunter mirror would be something. Farseer? Okay, thanks. Can someone tell Sock to <laughs> disable these. Uh rocket thingies it would be great otherwise we have to go to the lower quality on the Chinese stream so Farseer lightning shield creep with one wolf and one scouting wolf seeing that this is a shadow hunter high healing okay I gotta get rid of that um, what was it again next Com. Gonna be back with the stream in a second. Thank you, Kongu Jung and Abusive Pi for the resubs. Wolf couldn't steal anything. Yeah. It's lagging right away. Yeah. All right. There we go. I hope this quality gets a little better. Not really. Fascia high pressure. Let's stick with Sock for now. Until the second game. I will go into another one for the, for the second game. Um, Fascia pressure pays off, but the hood is a nice addition here. But no level 2 just yet. Oh, the Shadow Hunter is in deep trouble though. He didn't use... The clarity before going in this all was cancelled. New wolf summoned. Now is it time? Oh, reveal from the lab. TH 300 IQ. Is it? It's not reaching as his Farsi is low as well. But his tech at 60%. <laughs> Heal wave one. Second spell point not used yet. Farsia not level two. And dust. He doesn't want to be angered by this cloak anymore. So more healing, but there was another 100 gold. And can the grunts reach? Yep, hex used. Okay, no serpent wards makes sense in orc mirror. Can't go for the surround. A little slow with the reaction right here. Speed scroll, another hex. This could be a surround then, or oh, speed scroll by TH as well. Great reactions. So far, 
Action packed, and I think Sock fixed it. Cool. Um, action packed early of Shadow Hunter versus Farseer first in an Orc mirror. Would love to see the tech timings. TH is done with it already. And Shadow Hunter second, of course. But where's the damage coming from? No Blade Master at all. Shadow Hunter, you either play it with a Pit Lord or you play it with a. Blade Master second. But it should be Pit Lord. So Ensign again. It is the Pit Lord. For Howl of Terror and Cleave. Especially Cleave. Really good. Hex again. Cleave level 1 even. WGL price pool isn't that much higher. Dude, you missed something. This price pool is $14,000. WGL price pool is $70,000. It's a little more. <laughs> but alright. We get walkers and I think for Infi, he's, he's lacking lumber severely. Both contesting the mercenary camp. Ah, These hexes are just so good. I feel like, like I love the Pit Lord play and all. Oh, Chain Lightning to zap him. Big experience steal once again. I think Subi Mask for the Pit Lord though. It's great for the Shadow Hunter. Has to TP out, 350 gold gone. And so far, I like the opening for TH. How long does this Farseer have value? It's kind of the problem. Shadow Hunter always great, no matter the level, especially with this item. Both TP's gone. Thank you, Pro Toys, for the 21 3 sub. Berserker by Infi. Last three encounters, by the way, all went to Infi. Last time TH won. Was at a next tournament, though. It was a 3-0 in June. So, more experience for the Pit Lord. Hall of Terror coming in. We're gonna have Heal Wave soon for TH. Oh, the block. Man, TH is playing a great orc so far. But we have Spirit Link on both sides now. Level 2 Wolves will be dispelled soon. And Tier 3. That's the Infi style. No Raiders. Rush to Tier 3. Okay. Infi scouting. Seeing a warmel for Kodos. Infi with good stutter stepping, but still losing the grunt here. Berserker stays alive. TH is only losing like big HP on the wolves. A little bit on the grunts as well, but he has heal wave. He should be able to save them if he wants to. And Infi is losing more and more and more. 40 supply only. There's definitely a timing window for this strategy to work as Infi is going tier 3, he's committing hard to this uh, or to this rush. And TH's Farseer falls off a little. What good saves. Uh, seriously great saves. And Snare is getting him so many kills. Like the lack of raiders. That's what he sacrifices for this tier, tier 3 rush. The lack of End Snare is so big. 9 supply lead. What's up with the sound? Wow, the micro on the grunts. Must feel good if you constantly like have the world-class micro with footmen and then you're playing grunts. Everything must be a lot easier. 
Still no level 3 Shadow Hunter. That's the big deal. We have. Oh, we have the spell. Could use it soon. Constantly fighting. Super entertaining Orc Mirror so far. Pit Lord is rising in levels. Gloves and gauntlets. A little bit of extra damage. Oh, I can't wait to s get another stream, man. This is unbelievable. And TH is just saving way more. Is he following tier 3? Yes, he is. Halfway done. Finally level 3 for Infi on the Shadow Hunter. What now? Walker Master Training, TC 3rd. No Blade Master. This Pit Lord didn't get the necessary levels yet. Also not the best items. Gonna be a lot of walkers. Is it time for the second totem and then Tauren? Double heal scroll for TH. Is he about to finish this? Not really, right? He oh, backpack on orcs. Super rare to see this. It's crazy to see Infi pretty much dominate like this. Double Kodo to eat whatever is coming. And that's the perfect response. There's either Torin or something from a beastery, but Kodos are definitely the answer. But we have the Orb of Lightning now for Purge. That's the disable he needs. Heal scroll. Stomp is gonna be big by Infi though. And the Pit Lord apparently is the damage. Man, TH is losing a lot. Kodos didn't eat, if I'm not mistaken. These Purges. Super sick. Of course, there's pretty much no magic damage against the Walkers, so they will survive. And Headhunters for TH. Okay, not sure if that's the best thing. Close to level 3. Pit Lord gonna get it now. TH arrives at tier 3. This is the TC for him as well. That was the one fight where Infi had the necessary disable. But finally level 3. More headhunters. No Torrin, right? Okay. Pit Lord Cleave level 2. This is where he gets super strong. Isn't pimped, but tanky. TC out. Heal wave level 2 on both sides now. Hex level 2 isn't really the biggest of deals. Second Torrin totem, there it is. We have the first Torrin at next autumn 2019. But can this be just countered by more Kodos? Speed scroll, Kodo, run in, eat, get out. Sounds easy, of course. It's a little bit of a simplification. But if someone knows an answer to this, it's probably TH. If we get both items here, though. <laughs> Looking for the item. <laughs> Belt of Giant Strength. All great for the Pit Lord. More strength is more damage. And that multiplies. Heal scroll on Infi's side. Big mana for the Shadow Hunter. And a heal scroll as well. Level 2 TC on both sides. Pretty much the same experience. No reinforced defenses. Good range damage, but not great. Oh, reinforced defense is finished now. Stomp not ready. Kills the burrow. Nicely done. Just disengage. Kodo, has it eaten? Stomp was good. Focus triggers the heal wave. Purge on the Kodo. Still not sure if the Kodo's ate. 
or not. Nope, moves forward. Gets the Torrent. That's a big one. Chain Lightning right clicks. Infi struggling. Kodo still up. And no Kodo for Infi as he has no Beast Read. TH just TPs away and that's worth it. Now needs to the, the Devour. Holds on to the big potion. We'll get more levels. It takes forever to devour them, of course. Kodo ate, but then was hexed? <laughs> okay, so the unit is dead. Okay, didn't see it, sorry. So he wanted to prevent the devour and hex him and accidentally killed his own unit? Sorry, didn't, didn't see that. It's, yeah, you know. Got up early. Infi is pushing. 45 supply. No reinforced defenses by TH. He's a little slower with everything. But he's at 50. He doesn't want to break upkeep. Is there a TP on Infi? Yes, there is. Spirit Link reapplied. No Kodo in this army. And no Torrin in this army. Ooh, big stomp. Maybe. Take, might take out the headhunter. It looks rather easy, actually. But the heal wave is there. Ethereal form is there. Oh, chain lightning is, of course, a source of magic damage that is amplified by the ethereal form. Still, uh, revive for the walkers. True. That lightning, uh, chain lightning was for pretty much nothing. Level 4 now with a level 2 hex. Farsia level 4 would be way bigger. The Kodo's in the back. Can he snipe them? There's still one Torrent in the stomach. How long can he revive these walkers? Oh, heal wave at the very same time. Hex and kill. Man, Infi pretty much owning this fight. The Kodo's not taking part in this. The Torrent will most likely come back. Heal wave, spirit link. He's trying everything. Stomp on TH's units. The pit lord man, tearing them a new one. How long can he keep him up? There's so much healing. He really doesn't want to give up on that Kodo. These walkers reapplying the spirit link over and over. And <laughs> he's healing it forever. Big mana, burn through it. And the Kodo falls. The Torrent is back. Level 3 for the Torrent Chieftain. This could be a gigantic stomp. Heals him up. Stomps against it first. The Farsia is in trouble. Has no TP. And TH is losing him. Level 4. Can he get the revenge kill somehow? TC is in trouble as well. This Torrent doing great damage. Heal wave. Cleave. Not enough. <sighs> but that first hero kill. Everything was surrounded at the same time. Fasia coming back, tiny great hall instantly by both players? Okay. Okay. Man, what an orc mirror. Torrent, Devour, six heroes, double tiny great hall. This will go on for a while. But without the first hero, TH. What are you doing? Investing 700 gold when you're at 40 supply? Shouldn't you use it for army? Because now you're stuck at 42. Brave Torrent going for that Kodo. Don't know. Oh yeah, it's devouring this now. If the Kodo falls, he gets the Torrent back via revive. Aiming for the Pit Lord, but he's unkillable by now. Yeah, still good mana for healing. <laughs> the Kodo is still alive somehow. Two Torrent on the Prowl to save their brother. Kodos eat again. But should be coming back soon, right? Stomp, Torrent back. Right click, Torrent back. Infi at 54. 20 supply lead. Still no Farsia. There he is, but only level 3. Is that really the, the saving grace? I doubt it.
The Walkers did a phenomenal job. The Shadow Hunter does a phenomenal job. He has double heal scroll in case something goes wrong. The Kodos weren't saving so much. And Infi wins map number one in this you in this Orc Mirror. As we said, there is a timer on the far seer in Orc Mirror. At one point, you don't have the damage. And that point is late tier three. There we go. In in the back we had our two uh western viewers. Wong organized some tickets for them. Mouse 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 and Deathbat. Very cool that you have the pleasure to watch these games offline. So uh where's the do you stream? Wow, it's on the front page. <laughs> that must be so many viewers. To be on the front page of one of China's biggest streams. Am I locked in? Yes, I am. Okay, just as a backup, if Sock is not disabling these things. I have a backup now. So 1-0 for Infi. One step away from the fourth win in a row against TH. In the final, he would be meeting 1-0 or Moon. And this is map number two. Concealed Hill <clears throat> should be a Blade Master by TH then. Will that tip the scales? Infi, pretty sure he's going Blade. Like, this should be Blade Blade. Infi again, tier three. He just thinks that's the best whenever he's playing Orc Mirror. He's going for this tier 3. Surprised Lin with this. And won quite a few Orc Mirrors with it actually. Including this one. Seems to be a little bug. Soundproof headsets are on. TH looking a little concerned. So how does this look with two Blade Masters? Gonna be a interesting battle for the middle, that's for sure. TH got good fights at tier 1 and tier 2. But he couldn't translate it into the late game. He couldn't kill Infi before. TH in the red, Infi in the blue, Infi with the lead. There's gonna be a Chinese Rogue Warrior player in the grand final. But who's it gonna be? Infi bottom left, TH upper right. Oh, let's get this TC music. I gotta use YouTube repeat at some point. So, shop first, no barracks by TH. Like, not shop first, but altar shop. And then normal build by it feel. Is it blade, blade, or will we see a fast here? Blade here. 
could be Wolves Fast Tech by TH. Go with the shop. Oh, no, no. No, Blade Master is as well. Thank you. Now we 1510 for the Prime Sub. No spiral faster tower rush combo. So he's waiting for the barracks. There we go. So what's TH doing? This map is pretty big. Is he rushing over for harassing? Solo creep really makes not too much sense, right? Or he has some special creep outs that I'm not aware of. 1,600 viewers, by the way, at 11 a.m. Crazy. Okay. Item creep, and then what? Crit first by Infi with the claw. That pays off. A little bit more creep heavy here. Should go to the turtles then second, right? To make sure he gets level 2. So TH seems to know what's going on. Double circlet, plus 4. Late Master Hurt. Oh, TH totally knows, but... Didn't buy the dust, or didn't get the dust. That's the hurt Blade Master is healing up now, but the Grunt will also be hurt. And that burrow is certainly cancelled. Okay, that was TH's plan. Not bad. How long can he stay in that base? It's already a war mill that he triggers here. It's already level 2 as well. A gauntlet's but Hurt. Building a burrow outside of the main. That's easily cancelable. Later on especially. Like killable. Destroyable. Tears you on the way so far. Yeah, definitely lack of experience. On TH's side, but he can catch up with that a little later. Nice peon juggling. Constant damage by the blade. Constant damage from the burrow. Unwilling to use that wind walk. But they have the same movement speed if everything goes right. He doesn't need that mana. Boots and dust from the shop. Who's gonna get it? Ooh, dust for TH. That's big. Staff for Infi. He's not sending something over yet. And the grunt is here as well. Full throttle TH. Prepared this and again keeps the burrow down. But Infi is so good that he built the second burrow in the bottom right. So he can go for a second hero now. TH gets some healing done. And I don't know if he saw that burrow. TH might think he has a big edge. Wait a minute. TH for. Build a little too much and forgot the burrow. He can't get the second hero. Or am I missing something? No. This time I'm not missing th something. Oh, that's bad. Raider Walker, late second hero. And just building the burrow outside the base is the counter to this. Ooh, another crit. Raider Walker again by TH. Now the Shadow Hunter. Yeah, that's definitely a sign that he's not playing too much orc.
And again, level start is your solo experience. Does not count anymore for TH since the Shadow Hunter is in the altar. X again, prevents the kill, gets the grunt. Man, this looks good for Infi again. Far ahead in levels. Got the hex out early. No crit. Everything is predictable. Speed scroll, run away. Grunt and Shadow Hunter get the second kill. OTH. This wasn't your game. It, yes. Oh. Okay, Infi sidesteps reveal. Oh, he got in range. Okay, I might take everything back. He gets away. Ah, oh, Infi's orc. I love to see this. Shadow Hunter getting blocked. Attacking the creeps. Okay. TH might be in trouble for this, but the Shadow Hunter. TH is back in the game. Level 2, now crit. Good experience for the Shadow Hunter as well. Not losing too much in the late stage of the fight, of course. Early, he lost a ton. But again, tier 3 by Enfi. TH has to pounce hard. Or creep super high. Late Master back with full health. And snare. Oh, 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 oh. The pendulum swings back right in Infi's face. Late Master 50%. Has a staff. There's a raider though. Oh, and snare. Invo potion. Last second. But only seven seconds here. Is there another hex? Looks like it. Invis potion. No way. There's a dust as well, but he hexes him. So there was another dust in the inventory. And double kill for TH. Oh, boy. What a snowball effect. This time, he's getting even more out of this ensnare encounter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shadow Hunter is back, but only level one. No heal wave. TH was so far down in experience. These end snares prevent the shop. And there's no clarity in the Shadow Hunter's inventory. I think he has to back off. Everything's hurt. One self left. Late Master takes some time to get back. But I love the shot by TH. In good old, like, tower push fashion. And, of course, using the fountain as well. And tier 3 follow up again. There is of course a tier 3 advantage for quite some time for Infi. But he has to fight through the raiders and ensnares. He'll scroll 48. He is pretty much all inning, right? I know the tier 3 tech is not an all in. But he's spending a lot of gold here. Reinforced defenses. Oh, hex countered by an ensnare. Nice. Not following through. Thank you, Frog, for the host. Much love to Sweden. Hope the family is fine. Kodos again. Will TH... Again, let Infi slip through with this. Will he allow him to creep up, especially on this map? You can't allow your opponent to get too much of the map. And Infi is just sticking to his style. Tier 3, Torin Walker. Blade Master with an orb this time. So good against Kodos.
both illusion shadow hunters contesting for the red spot. They know how important this is. If you got a mana aura, pretty much game. Level 3 for the blade. Crit 2. Wouldn't be too surprised by Infi. And he knows this. No, Windwalk 2 it is. And Infi is quite far away. Can you still counter this? 2, 2 heroes for TH. Ooh, Infi's coming. Spike barricades! Alrighty. Just an illusion, but buying more time. TH knows now. Spike barricades. Why that? <laughs> but okay. Finally, TH gets the spot. Oh, no! The calls! The mana region aura... In a game where it's a lot about Master Walkers and Shadowhunter mana is the best item possible. Nothing comes close, I think. TC level 2. What did he get? Big healing. TH has to win this. Why is there still no TC, by the way? Shouldn't there be a TC by now? Ah, okay, he's building it here. 700 gold by Infi. Tiny Great Hall. Man, Infi, after this squash in the early, he's still getting so much time. That's pretty much TH's fault. I mean, it paid off with the Brilliance Aura and all. Got the Shadow Hunter level advantage, but Infi getting the red spot. I think TH will get uh, the natural and the second red spot. So in the end, it's worth it. And this time, it's no Farseer versus Shadow Hunter first. So I guess it's easier for TH, and there is not too much pressure on him. I guess that. I guess that that's the thing. But Ogmira is a box of surprises to me. No way. Vamp Aura and Mana Aura, really? RNG Jesus wants to see game three. Double heal potion for the TC. Close to three. Blade Master goes into the Echo. Of course, Infi on two bases, but so is TA. Did he go for a tiny... I didn't see it. <laughs> no, he didn't. And we have two Torrent. Should have upgraded Spike Barricade. Three Torrent? That's really hard to do. I don't think TH has too many Kodos even. Two? Okay. Two levels difference on the TC. Shadow Hunters are the same. Torrent doing a good job. Okay. Here we go. Shop and Blade. Wait, the Blade Master is disrupting the tr uh, the Echo Line, right? Kodo, Eaten. Oh, the purge, though. That lasts forever. Is that still enough damage? Nice to spell. Kodo dead in seconds. TH, can you fight this without a Blade Master? I highly doubt it. He values economy over this fight, and I don't think that's the right idea. Blade Master's doing nothing. He's not even going for the peons. Oh, major mistake. Has to go for a step. He has 1,200 gold. What the hell happened there? Torin are free again. And Infi's tier 3. Even if he loses Torin now, 
You can't just revive them. Oh boy. <laughs> Did you see that guy? He didn't like this Orc Mirror too much. Infi in the grand final for the fourth time in a row. He defeats TH three times at WCG, including the final. And yeah, Infi goes to the grand final, is competing for $7,000. TH will not defend his next title. That was... Once again, an interesting match between TH and Infi. Orc Mirror, Tier 3. Power spikes by TH in the mid game, but Infi holding on. Torrin beating the Kodos. I don't know what TH was thinking at the end, to be honest. These two. Yeah, you never know what you get. You never know what you get. So, Infi will face either 120 or Moon. Both gonna be great. Doesn't really matter what the final is gonna be. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be I Infi human, pretty sure. Well, against 120, I could see him playing Orc. But we'll see about that. Highlights here this Ultra surround on everything. Infi with a level up. Stomp, but not for long enough. Farsia falling, Pit Lord level 4, and then just everything falling. Mass heal wave, man. That was so much sustain. And here, everything looked so great for TH. The dust going to him. Invis potion by Infi. Trying hard to not to lose his hero. There you go. And the dust as well, but somehow there was still dust. And then... This fight without the blade was completely on the other side of the map. He is harassing here. But you can't win an Orc Mirror fight without the blade if you're not Lin. Yeah, it was just too much at that, at that point. So, coming up, Moon versus 120. Looking very much forward to this. Stay tuned, get some snacks in. We we'll take a five minute break and then we're back here at Back to Warcraft with next Fall 2019. <laughs> 